All right, to begin this project, we need to go into the Google Classroom to the Red Bull Design Challenge. Um, you're going to click this free textures from the TextureKing.com website, and you are going to search for a texture that you want to use for this portion of the project. Um, you can click view all textures, or whatever, um, find one, click download now. And then from here, when it opens into your web page, you're going to hold control, click your picture, save image as. We're going to call it Red Bull Design and click Create. We're going to name this texture, Texture 1, and then click Save. Okay, once that's downloaded, we are going to open our Photoshop and create a new layer, a new project in Photoshop. And you are going to follow the instructions for how to set it up on the handout I gave you or follow along with what I'm going to tell you once my dialog box opens. Okay, over here in our preset details, we are going to uh, name it texture one, or excuse me, background, background texture one. Its width is going to be um, 17 by 11. We're going to keep it at inches going to be landscape, keep a resolution of 300, change this to 16 bit, actually no, let's keep it at 8, we'll keep it at 8. Uh, make sure your background is transparent, so if it's not, scroll down to transparent, and then click create. Okay, once that's open, we are going to drag our texture into Uh, we're going to drag our texture from the Red Bull Design folder right into our Photoshop window. Let's go back to full screen. Uh, once we've done this, you should see this little X in here. It just means that it's previewing that document. So go ahead and hit the Enter key. It's going to lock it into our file. Uh, and then we need to go to our layer option drop down, choose rasterize, which is where can't find you. Duplicate new. All right, where am I? Okay, so you're going to right click, hold control, click texture one layer, and then choose rasterize layer right here. Okay, then we are going to resize it. So command T, holding the shift key, you want to drag your image of your texture out so it fills the whole space, and then tap the enter key, and then save your document. And move on to tutorial number two.